Hey guys, it's Matt from BallCards.com and today we're going to recap the two SGA giveaways that were available by the Braves last week as well as the autographs that I picked up on Sunday and we are doing that next. <laughs> Welcome back guys. If this is your first time here, make sure that you go down and hit the subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our upcoming breaks and also our bobblehead autograph reviews. Guys, first we're going to go ahead and go through the autographs that I got last week. And um, really SunTrust is not a place to be on Sunday anymore for autographs. It's just really tough. The Braves won't let you into the stadium uh, proper until about an hour and 15 minutes before game time. By then, the players are well into the dugout. Sometimes you can catch some of the non-division teams uh, still in the field, but as far as getting visitors or Braves on a Sunday, it's over. That's not happening anymore, uh, at least not the way it used to, and it's disappointing. So... Um, I'm going to give Saturday a try. Uh, they let you in about three hours early. We'll see how that goes. But Sunday just used to be the day, and it's just not anymore, unfortunately. But every Sunday home game, the Braves do Alumni Sunday, which they bring back three or four different players from the past uh, that play for the Braves to sign autographs and meet with the fans. So this week, um, that's what I got. So we got Chris Hammond at first. He got me for two which was nice. I don't have any more Braves cards because he is at this event all the time. Next up is Sonny Jackson. Got me, I believe, on a, 70, a 73 tops card. And this is the first time Sonny has actually been back with the Braves for any capacity for Alumni Sunday. So it was really good to see him. It's the only card I had, so that's all he signed. And lastly for me was Bob Horner. This was the highlight for me. I've only met Horner one time um, and I got a couple of cards signed by him then but this time he was nice enough to knock out two for me. It's more of a big deal for my dad than it is for me but uh, anytime that you can add somebody that hit four home runs in a game to your collection you're doing pretty good and then we struck out completely inside because nobody was signing autographs. So last week we had two SGA bobblehead giveaways um, one of them was an A-list exclusive. That's going to be the Eddie Matthews. The other one was the Swamberson bobblehead. If you don't know, uh, Dansby Swanson and Charlie Culberson um, look similar to each other, I guess, from a distance. A lot of people have got them confused. Last year, they had a program that had both of their faces on it merged, and I guess that sparked the idea for this bobblehead. Um, go ahead and, and take a look at it. You're first going to look at the box. Um, you know, it kind of gives you an overview of the box. They use these little emoji things again, which is kind of nice. Um, here is some of the backstory on Charlie Culberson. And then here is the Dansby Swanson uh, story. This is actually the photo I was talking about that was on the program last year. So it's nice that they did this. I think that's kind of cool. Um, nothing on the bottom. This is what the top looks like. Chop on. Very basic. And really, the bobblehead for me leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, it's very basic. I'm mad because the bat was not the right size for his hand. And I put it in there and I actually broke his hand. I had to super glue it back together. You can probably see that crack there. But... Anyway, um, this bobblehead is weird looking. It has like a, a line. It's supposed to have a line down the face. Uh, the two facial hairs are different. The eye colors are different. Um, of course, the jerseys are different. I want you to guess, if you're not a Braves fan, which side you think is Dansby Swanson and which side you think is Charlie Culberson. And uh, I'll tell you at the end of the video, and we'll um, see how many of you got it right. No cheating. All right. So we're going to put this one back there. This is the one I'm excited about. This is Eddie Matthews. This was an A-list exclusive bobblehead. The only way that you can get this typically is to get it from the um, Braves A-list staff members using your memory points or you could have purchased them. I think they may have made some available to regular fans this year because I saw it in the ballpark app for purchase. But it was pretty expensive. So 
Anyway, going over the box, here is Eddie Matthews' information. And here is some more detailed information on Eddie Matthews. In my opinion, Eddie Matthews is the best Braves third baseman, although not the best Atlanta Braves third baseman. As you saw um, on this box, you can see that he has a B on his hat. That's because he played for all three franchises. And what we think is going to happen is that there's going to be one this year for each of the three franchises. So this one is the Boston one, and the next one will be Milwaukee, and the next one will be Atlanta. Eddie Matthews is the only player that played for all three teams, so that's super awesome. One thing I do like that they did with the box is they did something with the bottom of the box again. Uh, I think this is a nice touch. I don't know why. It's super simple for them to do this. Um, but for some reason, I just think it's a nice touch. They did it with the Acuna, and they really haven't done it uh, with any of the others. So it's nice to see them do this. But let's just get right into the bobblehead. This uh, Eddie Matthews is pretty basic bobblehead. I do like that they used the old colorway for the Braze logo. It's pretty cool. I wish these were still raised on, the, on there instead of being an applique sticker. You got the old time uh, Brave logo on the sleeve, his classic number 41 on the back, nothing on the um, back of the nameplate. It does say A-list right there on the base, as well as Eddie Matthews on the front. So we'll have to wait and see um, what they do with the other two. I'm hoping they're different poses. Um, I hope they're not the same style bobblehead i hope that they look different i'm not counting on that but even if they are they'll have different hats you'll have one with the m and then you'll have one with the a and they should have different jerseys on so that will be pretty cool all right so we're gonna go with the swamberson not my favorite bobblehead looks like dansby had a stroke but anyway it's all good guess which side is dansby guess which side is charlie and uh, don't cheat here we go let, let me know down in the comments what you think Anyway, there you go. So this side is Dansby, th this side. On this side is Charlie Culberson. And uh, smash like if you got it right. You know, smash like if you didn't get it right. No big deal. But anyway, um, I did. I do like that they told you which side is which. So this side is Dansby. And this side is Charlie. And then the jersey, you know, number 78 is always a popular number in baseball. So... This is kind of weird. They could have done it a different way, like had it halfway and split it that way, but this is how they did it. If you like this video, please remember to drop a like, add a comment, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we count on your subscriptions to keep us going, so uh, please consider doing that, and we'll see you next time.